Hey guys, Josh, Ken, I'm Ken. Techamo News, Techamo HD. We were at Bauma 2022. This is our last day. We're getting ready to go home. Special shout out to all the people that reached out and met up with us here. It was awesome. Uh, it was great to meet some of you guys. Uh, put some faces behind some of the comments. Yeah, thanks to our fans for uh, reaching out to us while we're here in, in Bauma. We're a long way from home and it's cool to see that we still have some fan base over here. Next big event, Con Expo in March in Vegas. Uh, Cam's gonna be there, I'm gonna be there, Mike's gonna be there. Oh shit, Mike's not here. Yeah, we're all gonna be there. If anybody down there wants to meet up, reach out. Josh D at techmohd.com. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Yeah. If you like the hats we're wearing in videos, let us know. We have all sorts of different colors and combos. We're trying to figure out what people like. We'll bring a bunch of them. I'm gonna cut my feet off and I'm gonna sleep for about three months. Bye. See you guys. Beer, pretzels, sausage. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Bama. Welcome. 2022. Welcome, bienvenido. Bienvenido. <laughs> Mark, what's new about these? So the, this is our newest uh, product offering, and yeah, it's called the Endurance Joystick. Yep, cool. I know the product. We appreciate that. Two yeah. button with a horn, we're good to go. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Let's get started. A very warm welcome to all BOMA visitors. Great to have you all with us. This is our very first demo show of the day. We're at the Komatsu Demo Show at BOMA 2022. Amazing stuff. I'm blown away. Komatsu, way to put on an awesome event. This is wicked. Thoroughly enjoyed it. We're at the PC4000, a uh, 22 cubic meter bucket here. Uh, this thing's ginormous. It can lift like two or three of me. F***ing incredible. Right now we're on top of the PC4000E. Hans, what can you tell me about this unit? This unit is it's an electric shovel, front shovel unit, PC4000. We have for the frequency of 50 up to 60 hertz. We have power of 1350 kilowatt. Oh wow. Ballpark? What would one of these machines cost somebody? <laughs> it depends on. Yes. <laughs> if you have to ask, you can't afford it. What? Oh, how do you rotate? Oh, there we go. Found the best booth here. Hey guys, it's Count with Tackle. I'm kind of busy right now. <laughs> it's completely hydraulic. Wow, look at that. Oil filter and everything, eh? Let us know if you guys want to see an episode on how to service your RC uh, excavator. How to do a 500 hour service. Look at the uh, control valve there, the big manifold there for all the controls. That's really cool. If you got 10,000 euros burning a hole in your pocket and grab yourself one or two of these, right? Pretty slick. Uh, I get like a, a big kid when I see this stuff. I really like it. Behind me, you'll see the Airman EMCL068. Main benefits on this unit is the track drive bottom. So this thing can spin on itself full 360 access. So you can rotate right in place. It's a very neat unit. We got the uh, Sumitomo HA60W here. This is a new paver to our market. It might be used in Japan quite a bit, but we haven't seen many of these in North America yet. Yeah, very nice piece. We stopped by the Jacob branch here to check out what they're doing with the electric conversions for mining trucks. They do these things with all sorts of different units, all the way up to the Dodge 3500. Check that out. A crew mover, get everything in there. Uh, this is quite the cool product. What's this unit? Here is the bigger filter press we can uh, build at this moment. It's a brand new line we just built. With that one there, we can make 380 plates. Wow. Three meter by three meter. So yeah. higher production. Yeah. Behind me is the Roco 1100, or Roco 1100, whatever you want to call it today. This thing is quite the unit. Uh, they're only three years old. They're actually shipping one to our location. We have a five ton loader here, like a load out from the mines. These are cool units, new to the world. This is the first of its kind. Check them out. This is the, the product scraper. Actually, we are doing a virtual solution to make any type of uh, machine, construction machine, yep. any brand, uh, remote controllable. That's very cool. We're learning about new things here at Bama 2022. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, day three at Bama. Today's plans, we're gonna see the Komatsu demo at 10 out in the backyard, and then we're gonna hit up a bunch of parts guys and meet some new guys, connect with some old guys, have some fun. Here we go. I'm here with Alessandro from Nordlock, and today he's kind of explaining to us their expander pins and what they can do. In this point, you will start to get out of tolerance, and in this way, you will lose precision. To avoid this uh, situation, we developed a solution uh, as expander. So for heavy duty mechanics, what this does is reduces the amount of trips to site. So if you go out to site with the correct pin, 
you can, chances are, have that machine up and running that day. This one here, brand new, not even available for purchase until 2024. It's got a 32 meter high lift, 2500 kg is the full lift load. It's a pretty fantastic unit. Just had a really good conversation with the Burko reps here, going over some of their new product lines and what they're coming out with. This one here, these are just the rollers, the standard Burko rollers. So Burko is actually manufacturing their own bogey systems, the full systems, even the top caps. It's something that they've just gotten into. Some of the larger product that Burko brought with them to Balma this year is the Cat 6020 undercarriage. Big, big machines, right? Burko sells this all now, full units. We're back at the Hyundai HA45A. We're looking at the rear end on this thing. Right away, what do you notice? Single differential, running the axles on articulated systems. So you can go one wheel up, one wheel down. Full traction while you're doing it. These things are amazing. Big thing on this HA45A is the interior. The amount of room and space is amazing. You can fit a mini fridge in there. You can bring a friend in there, a buddy, so you can operate together. You can do anything you want in there. You can have a full party, a full disco disco, Zohan style. This place is amazing. Hey guys, we got a boring video for you. So we're checking out a few different portable line boring setups and this is one they offer. I haven't had any experience with it myself. So you can make facing and bore welding with one system at the same time. In this case, you have the total control of the machine because so you have two motors yeah. and the two control panels. Okay. So you can control the rotation with the control panel. At the same time, you can control the advancement with another control panel. So you can do two operations at once. Yeah. Right? Because you could be feeding the bore welder in yeah. as you're facing another part with one machine. Like, with, with one machine, yeah. yeah. So everything comes in this container. So a nice little package that you can throw in the back of your service truck, right? Very, very cool. We're on the Liebherr testing site in Munich, Bama 2022. Big feature on the TA230 is the sight lines you get in the cab. You can see above me, the backside windows, right? You can see everything when you're in there. The main features of this thing are the traction control, the suspension system in there, right? So it's got the double rear axles. So if one of these wheels slip, the other axle picks it up. It was outstanding. We went everywhere you could possibly think of taking a rock truck, places you would never normally take a rock truck without any problems. Powered through everything. This sounds like a commercial, but I really like this machine. It's not a commercial. Liebherr didn't pay me for this. This is my opinion. Thank you, sir. Yo, you're welcome. Outstanding. I need new underwear. <laughs> Dude, look at this, you know, this is just some of the fun stuff of Bama 2022. I mean, it might not be very industry related for us, but I mean, this is a sweet setup. We found the Soroto conveyor systems, anywhere from eight meters all the way down to three. Very lightweight units built with aluminum frames. But yeah, keep your eye out on these guys. They're doing big things. Uh, behind me, we have the base light system, which is powered by the Intergrid battery. Andy? What can you tell me about this thing? Well, this is the Instagrid One Max. It's the most compact, high-performance, portable battery on the market. So what we're seeing is a lot of people that are out doing mobile welding, wood cutting, metal cutting, jackhammer applications. Yeah. Now, for the first time, you can actually run these machines on a battery that you can carry in one hand, your tool in the other hand, and go Perfect. and do your day's work. You also have a larger unit coming to market, right? We do. So we're unveiling our concept product of our 0387 yep. here at Bauma. And what this is doing is taking the same concept of making things smaller, lighter, more powerful for professional use. I love it. It's a good. <laughs> hey guys, it's Cam with Tecamo and we're on the T274 diesel electric haul truck. This is the view of Bama from on top of Liber's electric haul truck. And this is my office for the day. Where's the Bluetooth? How's the hands-free work in this thing? Anyways. <laughs> safety orange seat belt on so they can see it it's on there we go uh, this is the view from in the cab where's the sun sun hey guys we're here with the uh, cat mh3022 that's the material handler fully electric another electric unit cat 320 electric cat 775g behind us with the Acer C27 engine in it. This is a very nice off-highway truck. Uh, the biggest one that Cat brought, excavator, Cat 395. Also just found their graders, the new Cat 120 GCs. All sorts of electronic control for grade control. So we also found the Cat 289 D3, the tracked unit, and the 226 D3 in the back, the wheeled unit. Here we found the Cat command system. So this is the remote control unit for the automation, right? So this is when you're sitting somewhere else, running a machine elsewhere. Found the Cat 950 GC. This is their full electric model. Uh, I believe it's available to market 2023. That was the Cat booth. Overwhelmed. 
Can you tell us a little bit about this unit? Yeah, you could compare it best to a diesel genset in that sense. Yeah. Uh, since you can fuel it like a diesel genset because we have a liquid organic hydrogen carrier. This is actually the substance itself. It's called hydrazine and the hydrogen is stored in here. So you can fuel it okay. inside. We decompose it to hydrogen, yep. use the hydrogen in the fuel cell to generate electricity. And then yeah, you can choose one of the sockets to charge your car, charge your excavator, yep. be a power supply for an entire um, construction site, construction backup power, you name it. We found the Komatsu booth. We're gonna go walk around, see some of their new product. Fun stuff, let's go. Ran across the hybrid, the HP365. We've shown you the PC4000E, the fully electric monster outside. Here's its baby, 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 baby cousin, the PC01E, little mini electric. Look at this thing, tiny. Found the uh, fully automated Komatsu excavators. That's fully ran, hand control. Look what we found here. We found the simulator. This one we're excavated. We're loading, uh, loading haul trucks. That one we're driving the haul truck around the mine site. Hey, hey now we can find out a little bit more about the PC210. This, this is their prototype fully electric unit. It's amazing. We need this for every piece of equipment here. I could just stand here all day and learn everything I need to know. Munich, I love your city. This is unreal, dude.